Close your eyes and develop thoughts of goodwill. Goodwill for yourself, goodwill for all the beings around you. One very tangible way of showing goodwill for yourself is giving the mind a good place to stay inside. That's why it's wise to spread thoughts of goodwill not only at the beginning of meditation but also at the end, when you've been treating yourself well in the meditation. It's a lot easier to feel goodwill for those around you. If you're breathing in a burdensome way, all you can think about are the burdens you feel. It makes it harder to extend goodwill with any sense of sincerity. And the fact that the mind has been s settled in for a while and more concentrated gives more power to the goodwill. But it's also good to have practice in spreading goodwill when you're not feeling good. Just to remind yourself that your goodwill should not depend on your mood, because it's a determination that no matter what, you're not going to harm anybody else. You're happy to see other people happy. If there's anything you can do to contribute to their genuine happiness, you're happy to do it, regardless of how you're feeling right now. You want your goodwill to be dependable, there all the time. Of course, it's going to have to be paired with equanimity, because there are lots of times when you have goodwill for other people and they're not going to behave in skillful ways, no matter how hard you try to influence them in that way, or how much you want them to change. They're just not going to change. So equanimity is there to remind you that the world is not necessarily going to be in line with your wishes. But you have to have goodwill anyhow. So strengthen your goodwill in whatever way you can. If you can strengthen it with the way you stay with the breath, fine. If you can strengthen it with your own discernment, reminding yourself that you need your goodwill. It's a determination. It's a form of restraint. That you're not going to act on ill will at all. Then your goodwill becomes more reliable. And after all, you do need it. Because if you act on ill will, that becomes bad karma. And it becomes the kind of karma that's hard to admit to yourself. If you had goodwill and you made a mistake, that's one thing. That kind of mistake is easy to live with. You just simply didn't know. But when you initially acted out of ill will to begin with and then created harm, you know you started from the bad state of mind to begin with, and it's hard to admit to yourself. So try to develop goodwill all the time regardless of your mood, regardless of the ups and downs and the level of your energy. Even when you're sick, especially when you're sick, the Buddha said, you know, thoughts of goodwill for all beings. That way your actions become more reliable, and when your actions are more reliable, your happiness will be more reliable as well. <laughs>